The shark fin antenna offers a few key advantages. So number one, I would just say that the most, you know, the called covert shark fin after all is, is the concealment factor of it. It's designed to resemble the original equipment on the vehicle. And this just makes them less noticeable when compared to a traditional public safety antenna. And it just enhances that covert nature of the vehicle when discreetness is needed. Something else to keep in mind when it comes to the advantages are just the multi-band functionality. That is having the ability to leverage multiple frequencies in one antenna. Another thing is just also the ease of integration on a vehicle. Shark fin antennas are designed to work with factory mounting locations, and that allows the vehicle to maintain its aesthetic lend-in when it comes to covert operations. We design them to be weather resistant and they're able to operate in all different types of climates. The goal with that is just an antenna that's well-versed to withstand elements without compromising the covert nature of it. The most common application is just undercover law enforcement vehicles. This is gonna be the bulk uh, use case of the shark fin antenna and that's essential when it comes to maintaining a low profile for uh, surveillance operations. Otherwise, it's you know common application would be the, used in the military. This could be used on vehicles that need to blend in well without drawing attention. Mostly going to be a special operation or a vehicle driven by a higher up who just needs to have communication but also wants to maintain a low profile even though they may not necessarily be directly into a uh, mission critical situation. Another case where a uh, covert antenna scenario would be used is VIP and executive protection. This could be for high profile individuals, really in politics. Uh, our antennas have been featured in various presidential campaigns, things like the Super Bowl, uh, NASCAR events, and other high profile events where security is paramount. So we tried to design the shark fin in a way where the appearance is crafted to resemble the original equipment on the vehicle to the best of our ability and help maintain that discrete factor of the vehicle. Another key component to the actual technology side is going to be the interoperability of the antenna. So with multi-band radios, you know, there's uh, interoperability between agencies and organizations that might be on different frequency bands is really important. So that was uh, evolution you know, in the past uh, five years, five to 10 years of, of our company, where we've started integrating multi-band antennas into our product line. This is different from a standard single band where in the past agencies or customers would just order a single band antenna where now the radios they're what's called an all band radio and that is able to operate all the frequencies from one unit so we developed an antenna to basically be able to pair with that radio as well as uh, just having the ability for a wide area coverage so this could mean going through different districts needing to operate on different frequency bands in a wide geographical location opposed to before like if you had a single band radio and uh, you, you had to travel to a different jurisdiction and they were using UHF frequency and you only have a VHF radio, communication would be very difficult within that region. But if you're on an all band, you can just change it over right from the radio and the antenna will adapt on the fly for that. The biggest factors for consideration when it comes to selecting really any antenna for your vehicle is going to be the frequency range and compatibility with your communication system, so the, the end user's radio. Verify that the shark fin antenna covers the frequencies you need to operate on would be the first step to that. The biggest thing when it comes to being compatible with a radio isn't necessarily going to be the antenna itself, but the connector that is ended up used to make the actual connection from that antenna to the radio. So certain radios will have certain connectors that are required to make the antenna functional on that radio. Vehicle type is going to be another big consideration. Uh, does that specific vehicle allow for an antenna to be mounted on the roof? Most vehicles uh, do allow that, but you know certain vehicles may be better suited for other types of antennas. So for example, if you have a pickup truck, covert shark fin antenna might not be the most suitable antenna for that vehicle, especially if it's equipped from the factory with a fender mount antenna. Another factor to consider is just the installation complexity. You know, is this something where it's maybe a rented vehicle or short-term use vehicle? where you're not able to take it apart and install an aftermarket antenna. 
So something like that would be considering a different option altogether or using one of our magnet mount shark fins, which is a new evolution in the product line. And that's really designed for a rapid deployment where the vehicle can't be taken apart or you're not able to drill a mounting hole if required. So a magnet mount would be a really good option in that case, giving you the same performance as the standard mount, but just a much easier installation process.